it's me. I hope you can hear me okay. I have the windows open because I need some air. What a day, what a day. So, yesterday I uh, received notifications that I had three commercial callbacks. Two today and then I have one tomorrow. And <laughs> the callbacks were within 10 minutes of one another. Uh, I had one scheduled for today in in LA at 3.35 or 36, something like that. And the other one was at 3.45 in Santa Monica. And that ain't gonna work, so, uh, unless I clone myself. So I emailed my commercial agency and my agent's assistant, uh, she contacted the casting office offices and I was able to go to one a little later. Well, that was that was the plan. So today I got a call from someone else in the office, uh, my my agency, who told me that um, things basically things had changed with the second audition, and they needed me there a little earlier. And so I explained to her because I thought maybe you know she hadn't had a chance to talk to my agent's uh, assistant, like the uh, first assistant, and. And she said, oh, no, 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 that was last night, but this is what they're telling us now. So this is, so I, I got to my first audition way early. Uh, my audition was for 3.35, and I arrived at 2.50. So that was plenty of time for me to get in there, uh, do my thing, and get out. <laughs> they weren't seeing people out of categories. What happens at commercial auditions is... Everybody's in a category, according to character. And I was a mom uh, character, but they weren't, weren't on moms yet. They were on bakers. And so they couldn't see me out of category. Plus, sometimes they match you up with other people that they want you to audition with. And this is this is at callbacks. They've, every, they've seen everybody once, and they, they match you up. So I, I needed to have a family. So. They had matched me up with a husband and a son and a daughter, and they all had to arrive so that we could audition together because they wanted they want to see our chemistry on on screen. So there was a lot of back and forth with my agency about, hey, I don't know, I gotta wait until these other actors get here, and, and there's not a lot I can do. But can you let the people at the second audition know that I really want to audition? And of course, my agency wants me to audition because. Yeah, when I, when I book jobs, they get 10% of everything, which uh, may not sound like much. Like if I make a dollar, they only get a dime. Um, but if you make $10,000, they get a thousand, and then multiply that by every every uh, client they have, and somebody's always working. So it may not be me. I try to make it be me, but even when it's not me, somebody is always working. I ended up being at that first at the first location for two hours. I got there at 2.50 and I left at 4.50. Uh, I got into my car, I called my agency again. I was like, look, there is no way I can make it there. She had bought me some time. There's no way I can make it there by five. Like, I'm in my car now, I'm gonna drive right now. But, uh, you know, can you check and see if they're still gonna be there? So they gave me some more time. When I walked in the door, uh, the, the receptionist at the front was like, Nicole, yay, you made it. And she had my picture like on top. But there were other people there. So um, they were completely done and shut down and only waiting for me. Oh, yeah. uh, sorry, that's my, uh, my GPS, my phone. I use the Waze app. I really like it. It takes me, uh, it gives me all kinds of shortcuts and stuff. Ways that I would police reported ahead and a vehicle stopped on the shoulder. I'll see if I can see. But I uh, I got there and then I had some time to wait, which was fine. It gave me time to catch my breath and reorient myself. Although I was, I was pretty hyped up and in a good mood because at the beginning of my professional career, I made a living from commercial work. And commercials pay very well. They don't. They, they don't pay as well as what I hear they used to pay. But I, that was before me. That was an era, a bygone era. And 
they pay well. So that was how I was used to making my living. And then I, uh, I just wasn't booking them. And for a while I was getting callbacks, but I wasn't booking them. And then I stopped getting callbacks. And then I think that messed with my head to the point where sometimes I would get a, get a commercial audition and I wasn't looking forward to it, which didn't used to be the case. So I got myself back into uh, Wednesday uh, commercial workout, which I'm not gonna make because I'm I'm in traffic and I'm not even I'm not gonna get over there in time. Uh, and this is Wednesday, <laughs> and I just started working out the kinks. Uh, worked with a wonderful, wonderful teacher. She knows her stuff. She's she's actually a manager. She used to be an actor. She's a, uh, I don't know if she still dances, but she used to be a dancer. You can tell by her posture. Her name is April. Hi, April. If you ever see this, it's, she's she was great. Exactly what I needed because um, <laughs> she she can be. She'll point out what exactly what's going on. She's really cool people, nice, but she is not pulling punches. And that's what I needed. I was like, something's wrong. What's wrong? Let's fix this. I let my my uh, agent know. I'm trying. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why I'm not even getting callbacks, but I am actively trying to fix this. And for me to get three callbacks, uh, it feels good. So that's what I am grateful for today. Well, it's a piggyback grateful. They're along the same lines. I am grateful, first of all, for getting the three callbacks. And I'm also grateful that I was able to make it to both of them today because it did not look like it was going to happen. But between uh, the, the uh, casting, the session runner at the first audition who was aware of my plight and was so wonderful and helpful, her name was Jen, uh, she was great. Then there was Rachel, who is at Coast to Coast. She's at uh, my my agency. She was great because she was on the phone, and I was sending her emails like, "Hey, uh, I don't know, <laughs> you know, it's, I'm cutting it pretty close. I don't know how this is gonna go." And uh, then the woman at who was uh, the receptionist, I believe she was, at the second audition, her willingness to to uh, be accommodating and work with me, and I really. I, I, I thank all three of them. So uh, that's what I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for things working out. That's what I'm grateful for. I am stuck in traffic. I, well, at least I'm moving. That's the good thing. I'm moving and I'm not paying attention to my GPS, so I might end up anywhere. No, I'm good. And I figured I, since I'll be in my car for a bit, I should take advantage of the daylight and my video for today. This is day 13. I, I, I can't even believe it's 13 days already. And I also... Okay, GPS. I also can't uh, believe that I have 18 days left to go. <laughs> but, hey, I did the first 13 and the next 18. I am looking forward to finding out what good things show up in my life because uh because i'm grateful i'm grateful for anything that anything good that uh that shows up and sometimes i have to learn to be grateful for for things that show up that i don't really want to show up because there's a lesson in everything and if it's showing up especially if it's showing up over and over and over again that lets me know that there's something in that that i need to I, there's like a take-home test that I need to uh, I, I, I need to pass before I can move on to the next level. Alrighty, I'm gonna let y'all go. Check out I did I finally got another video up uh, the product review. I recorded it and I got that up early this morning, and uh, that was one that I, I just I just recorded it yesterday. So. I have uh, I still have the two other videos in the can that that I need to edit and get them up. I'm working on it. I'm more just know that I'm working on it. All right, I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. I just want y'all to see what's going on here.
<laughs> when I first moved to LA, I refused. Well, when I first moved to LA, I didn't bring my car with me, but I had my car shipped out here because I soon realized that I could not get around very well without a car. Not to my liking. There are people, certainly there are people here who don't have vehicles, but it was too much work. You had to plan hours in advance in order to get anywhere. And sometimes I need to get places quickly. So, uh, oh wait, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to have license plates. Here, don't look at that person's license plate, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I shipped my car out here and then I would not drive on the freeway for a long time. I was afraid because I had never seen a road this large. This is one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. One, two, three, six or seven. I can't count right now. I got to pay attention. Six or seven lanes in both directions. <laughs> I'd never seen anything like this. And I wasn't sure that I would fare okay <laughs> on these roads. So I took the streets everywhere until I realized, again, it's taking me forever to get from anywhere to anywhere. And I just had to get on the freeway and stay in the slow lane. And when people got mad, they just had to go around. That was just, you know. And then after a while, I learned, I got used to it. You get used to it. Another thing you notice is that people here drive very, very close to one another. Like, I am all up on this man. When I learned to drive in Chicago, I was told that there should be at least three seconds between the time the vehicle in front of you passes a landmark and the time you pass that same landmark. And that is not happening here, as you can see. Also, when we stop, we stop like right on top of each other. And uh, when I learned how to drive, I was told that you should stop far enough behind another vehicle that you can see the wheels of the vehicle in front of you on the ground. That doesn't happen here because what happens is people will jump in front of you all day long. All day. If you leave enough space, somebody's going to cut you. People, multiple people are going to cut you off and you are never going to get anywhere. So. When in Rome, you know, you got to uh, learn the rules of the road that are pertinent to each place. You see, see I, can't, I can't see their vehicle's uh, wheels on the ground, you know, and um, I'm not, this is just how it is. And any other place, it might be seen as, as tailgating, but I'm not, uh, this, is, this is what they do. Alrighty.